Firefighter Bell was killed last Tuesday night in a house fire on Blue Hills Avenue that injured three other firefighters. He was remembered today as a father, a husband, a friend, and hero. We have complete coverage of today's final farewell. And we begin with News Bob Wilson, who's live for us in Bloomfield tonight with more. Bob? It is a sad and somber day right now. They're just pulling up the scaffolding here at the church after a long day of services. Kevin Bell, firefighter, hero, father, was laid to rest. Gray shadows cast a pall over the flag draped coffin. Firefighter Kevin Bell was taken to his final resting spot on top of engine 16, the same engine that took him to his last call on earth. The casket floated on a sea of blue as thousands of firefighters from across the country came to pay respects and support his widow and fatherless daughter. It felt bad for the family. Yeah, it was very uh, touching, very moving thing. Hope our best for the family. They were also there to support the other three firefighters injured in the blaze. Two helped carry the casket of their friend. Another remains in critical condition in the burn unit at Bridgeport Hospital. A somber reminder of the fight that's not over. It's just the duties that we do. Uh, it's, it's, it's so so many things that are unknown in our job profession. You get that call and you just don't know what you're getting into when you get the, when you get to the fire. Because they had so many firefighters here, they had to bring them in by bus. They were all escorted by police motorcycle. They came from as far away as Michigan because they have had that personal tragedy at their department. You know, when we lost uh, two firefighters this past March, uh, you know, it was very uh, hard on all of us. But, uh, you know, we had great support from Connecticut, the Hartford firefighters. There were too many firefighters to fit inside, so they stood in a wall around the church. They were there, standing at attention before the service, and they were there, ready to escort Firefighter Bell when he was carried out. His helmet walked slowly in front of the body to this final resting place in Bloomfield. And while many never met the firefighter, they know who he is. Uh, we lost uh, firefighter uh, Walter Harris in uh, uh, the same situation of building fire, and he, uh, he died at the scene. We talked to four different departments in a row, from Boston to Worcester to Detroit, as you heard, and they all said one thing. We lost firefighters, and then they knew the names of the firefighters that they lost, their friends, their heroes. They say they'll never forget Kevin Bell. That's a name that they will keep in their mind as well. I'm Bob Wilson, reporting live in Bloomfield, News 8. All right, Bob, thank you. There were many speakers during today's service, including Mayor Pedro Segarra and the current Hartford Fire Chief, Carlos Huertas. There was also moving music and song, tributes, stories about Kevin Bell from those who knew him the best. The fire chief teared up when he spoke. Kevin Bell has been a hero his entire life. He was a hero to his parents, to his wife, Wayette, his daughter, Red Cal, his brother, Sean, and his extended family. Kevin Bell's brother, Sean, said when he tried to write down his memories of his brother, his hand just didn't want to work. He said he finally realized he didn't need to make notes to pay tribute to his brother. Everything I got to say with Kevin, I don't have to make no speech. I don't have to look on no paper. I don't have to look on nothing. It's going to come straight from my heart because my memory is like an elephant. I don't forget. Bell's young nephew also spoke and made a moving tribute to his uncle. One of the firefighters heard in that same fire also at that service today. 34-year-old Colin McWeeny was there still in bandages from that fire last week. McWeeny and fellow firefighter 51-year-old Kevin Burke were both treated from their injuries and released from St. Francis Hospital. And the third injured firefighter, 29-year-old Jason Martinez, remains in critical condition at Bridgeport Hospital. He suffered burns over 10% of his body.